hello team bling squad how are you how are you how are you aloha hey tony what's going on so today we want well i wanted to talk about on this wonderful sunday fun day it's all about trust do you trust me that's exactly what we're going to talk about so to demonstrate and hopefully you guys um, can jump on live if you are watching the replay hashtag replay let me know that you watch the replay of this video so to start off I wanted to first of all talk about trust and what it means this is the definition of trust it is a firm belief in the real uh, reliability truth ability or strength of someone or something so we're going to talk about trust today. So to demonstrate trust, I'm going to put complete trust that my husband is going to catch me in a trust fall. So hold on. <laughs> okay, honey, are you sure you're ready for this? But yeah, wait, let me just kind of put the video so you don't, we don't get chopped up. Okay, can you see me? Don't mm -hmm. mind, I have a, a shelf right here. Sorry about that. Okay, so. Okay, honey, here you go. I'm going to trust you completely that you are going to catch me when I fall. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it? thank you. Yes, <laughs> great. Almost <laughs> fell down. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so for those of you um, that got to see that, I know I, I had to really trust him. But you guys, today I wanted to talk about trust, and I'm hoping some of you can jump on um, live. So if you guys have any questions, you can post the questions here. Um, let me just get a little bit closer here. If you guys have any questions, pop them in the comment, and I will do my best to uh, get back here. Um, sorry about that. I'm not sure what was going on with that. Um, Team Bling Squad, there we go. Where is my my words on the screen okay it used to be there anyways I just wanted to talk about trust and how important it is for you for your customers and to gain new customers and to retain them it's so important for you to not only get customers but to keep customers because there are people out there that are looking whoops, let me just put it right here that are looking to shop with you they're looking to shop with a ring bomb party consultant that they can trust now I know I wanted to talk a little bit I have some points here um, number one do you trust in your company do you trust in your product are you 100% 100 now not 98 not 99 99 and a, 99 and a half are you 100% confident that you trust in your company and your product. That is important because if you don't trust in the company and the rings that we sell, you are gonna have a difficult time getting someone to trust you and believe you that you have the most amazing product, you're working with the most amazing company, and you have the best amazing support. So I wanted to just touch up on that real quick. Um, number two, you need to trust in your upline. Do you trust me? Do you trust completely that I want you to succeed? Do you trust and believe that? Do you trust and believe that your upline, our up, up, upline, which is my sponsor, the company, the owners, do you trust that they want the best for you? Number three, do you trust, do you, tr do you have trust with your customers? Do your your customers believe and trust in you that you will send their product, that you will take care of their order, that you will communicate with them on maybe shipping or how the order is you know, being tracked through the mail system. Do you have your customers trust? Um, one other thing was, um, oh, I wanted to read to you from the Eric Worre GoPro book. I wanted to read this to you. Um, this is from chapter three. Um, like any profession, you'll need to learn some skills. So I'm gonna read a little bit from this chapter. If you didn't already get this book, 
Go Get GoPro. It is such a valuable tool, especially for those of you that this is your very first business, your very first opportunity. Um, I want you to be educated. I want you to be well um, versed and I want you to be a professional network marketer. I really want you guys to develop your entrepreneurship. For those of you that don't know much about the network marketing business, it's all about your mindset, training your thoughts and your um and getting all of your actions lined up with where you are headed. Okay, so I wanted to um, just read this, just a few things from this um, chapter right here. It says, there are three primary elements to your network marketing business. Number one, first, you have the company's products. If, so, um, if some people are successful in marketing those products and you're not, it isn't the product's fault. In other words, everyone in your company has the same products to offer to the public. <clears throat> you have the same opportunity as I have. <clears throat> we have the same product, the ring bombs. There's different collections, of course, but we all have the same product. We all fizz the same. We all need to ship our orders. So we have something in common, and that is we all sell the same ring bomb product. If someone at the top of Ring Bomb Party can be successful, <clears throat> so can you. I want you to believe in your product. I want you to believe that you can trust your company and the company is going to produce and manufacture the best ring bombs hiding, I mean those rings hiding in those ring bombs. We have to trust and believe that. This is all about trust, you guys. Just like how when I, <clears throat> when I crossed my arms and I was like, okay, I'm gonna let myself go. I trusted that my husband was going to catch me. I had to mentally believe that if I fell, he was going to catch me. Like, ah, oh, <laughs> right? I mean, anytime you do that, you're letting your guard down. You're allowing someone else to influence you. And you have to believe and you have to trust them. Just like this business, when you signed up with your sponsor, you said, hey, I'm ready to rock this business. Did you trust and believe that your sponsor was going to help you or your upline was going to help you? For those of you that have never ever reached out to your upline uh, with questions or concerns or how to do something, you need to start building that trust factor with your team member, your upline, okay? Uh, for some of you, you're, you're lone rangers. <clears throat> you can do this all by yourself. You guys, I'm telling you, this business is very, very emotional. It will take you to highs and it will bring you to lows. Not that anything is wrong with it, but because we deal with people, that is always going to be the factor. We're dealing with people. People have emotions. People have feelings. People have um, likes and dislikes. So not everybody is going to like you or like your product, and that's okay. Be okay with that. Don't take it personally. Don't get hurt. Don't get offended. None of that, okay? That's part of developing our mindset. Next, next, next. Some will. Some won't. So what? Next, next, next. There's enough people in this world, you guys, to purchase yours and my ring bombs. So what I wanted to share with you is that in this time that you're growing your business, because we're all new. I just started in June. We're all new at developing this business. What I want you to remember is that we work together together as a team. Uh, wait one second, I forgot to get this paper that's sitting over here. Give me one second. Hi, Julia! <coughs> okay, I wanted to um, read this to you. Hi, Jillian. I just talked about trust. So you might have to go to the, the beginning of the video to see that real quick. Okay, hold on. Okay, so... You guys ever saw this image before? Let me just kind of show it to you. Have you ever saw this image before? I'm sure you have. I mean, in a card or a plaque or, you know, saw it somewhere. They call it the praying hands, but there's a whole story behind this. And I wanted to express to you how important it is to work as a team. We're not going to make it alone. 
not in this business, not alone. You need each other. You need your sponsor. You need your upline. You need your team members. And I'm gonna. And like I said, it's a up and down. And and I'm not. Tr I don't ever want to sugarcoat anything because life is not sugarcoated. Life just hands it out to you, and you have to roll with it. You have to grow with it. You have to learn how to make it, how to succeed. And I'm so excited to be the leader of Team Bling Squad because I want to share my experiences with you. I don't want you to have to make huge mistakes. I know we learn from mistakes, and yes, I totally get that. But if I can help you to share from my own experiences, from my previous um, experience as a business owner, as a person that went through a lot, I'm all for it. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about this praying hands. This is the story behind it. And again, we're talking about trust, about teamwork. Uh, for those of you that need to take notes, go take notes and replay this video and watch it again. Um, for you that are on this team, if I am your up upline, I want you to know that I am available for you. Go to your sponsor. Of course, I want to encourage you to build that relationship with your sponsor. But if you need to ask a question up upline, I'm all for it. Let me know how I can help. Okay. Um, let me just read this here. <coughs> Back in the 15th century in a tiny village near Nuremberg lived a family with 18 children. Yes, 18. In order to merely keep food on the table for this mob, <laughs> 18, the, the father and head of household, a goldsmith by profession, worked almost 18 hours a day at his trade as well as any other paying chore he could find in the neighborhood. Despite their seemingly hopeless condition, Albert and Albert, two of the elder children, had a dream. They both wanted to pursue their talent for art, but they were fully aware of the fact that their father would never be financially able to send either of them <clears throat> to the art academy Hold on. After many long discussions at night in their crowded bed, the two boys finally worked out a pact. They would toss a coin. The loser would go down into the nearby mines and with his earnings support his brother who would, who would attend the academy. Then, after four years, when the brother who won the coin toss completed his studies, he would in turn support the mining brother to also attend the academy, either with sales of his artwork or if necessary, also by laboring in the mines. They tossed a coin on a Sunday morning. Albert Durer won the toss and went off to Nuremberg to study art. Albert went down into the dangerous mines and for the next four years financed his brother who's, who worked at the academy and was an almost immediate sensation. Albrecht's etchings, his woodcuts, and his oils were far better than those of most of his fellow students and even those of his professors. And by the time he graduated, he was beginning to earn considerable fees for his commissioned works. When the young artist returned to his village, the Dura family held a festive dinner on their lawn to celebrate Albrecht's triumphant homecoming. After a long and memorable meal, punctuated with music and laughter, Albrecht rose from his honored position at the head of the table to drink a toast to his beloved brother for the years of service that had enabled him to fulfill his ambition. His closing words were, and now, Albert, blessed brother of mine, now it is your turn. Now you can go to Nuremberg to pursue your dream and I will take care of you. All heads turned in eager expectation to the far end of the table where, where Albert sat. Tears were streaming down his pale face, shaking his lowered head from side to side, while he sobbed and repeated over and over, no, 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 no. Finally, Albert rose and wiped his tears from his cheeks. He glanced down the long table at the faces he loved, and then... Holding his hands close to his right cheek, he said softly, No, brother, I cannot go to Nuremberg. It is too late for me. Look at what four years in the mines have done to my hands. The bones in every finger have been smashed at least once, 
and lately I have been suffering from arthritis so badly in my right hand that I cannot even hold a glass to return your toast, much less delicate lines on parchment or canvas with a pen or a brush. No, brother, for me, it is too late. More than 450 years have passed. By now, Albert's hundreds, <clears throat> Albert Durrett's hundreds of masterful works, portraits, pen and silver point sketches, watercolor, charcoals, woodcuts, and copper engravings hang in every great museum in the world. But the odds are great that you, like most people, are familiar with only one of Albert Durer's works. More than being familiar with it, you very well may have a reproduction hanging in your own home or office. And again, I'm referring to that graphic. <clears throat> you saw it before, right? Oh, hi, Lenore. Um, yes, you guessed it. One day, to pay homage to Albert for all that he had sacrificed, Albert Durer painstakingly drew his brother's abused hands with palms together and thin, thin fingers sketched skyward. He called his powerful drawing simply hands. But the entire world almost immediately opened their hearts to his great masterpiece and rena renamed his tribute of love, The Praying Hands. Next time you see a copy of this touching creation, take a second look. Let it be your reminder that no one ever makes it alone. One must have the grace of others as well. This is truly a story of enormous, unconditional love and grace. And again, this is the picture of the praying hands. You've seen it before, I'm sure, right? I mean, how amazing is that? I mean, think about it. Could the brother have gone to school if the other brother did not work so hard in the mines to fund the academy? I just want to encourage you folks. I know it might feel lonely when you're live or maybe after the live. Maybe you're looking at your orders or late at night you're wondering like, oh my gosh, where will I find time for this business? I'm going to ask you to remember that no one does it alone. You need the support of your family if you can get it. You need the support of your, your sponsor, your upline, this team. You have the whole support of a whole company called Ring Bomb Party. Don't ever feel that you're doing this alone. The teamwork will make the dream work. Please reach up. No one will ever know your questions or your concerns if you never voice them. So you need to learn to speak up. You need to learn to reach up. You need to learn that there is help. There's always a lifeline. And I want to encourage you today because this is going to be an amazing week of training. This week we are going to talk about the why. The other book that I encourage you to get was the Simon Sinek book. If you've never read it, there's my, I have a whole bunch of books over here. <clears throat> this one you can get at Amazon too. It says Start With Why. You need to read this book. It is so amazing when you can sit down and look at a statement or maybe a paragraph at first of why you're doing what you're doing. Like I said it before, find your passion. Find what it is and pursue it. If your passion right now is to build this business and be successful so that maybe one day can be your full-time business that you can work out of your home and still make an income to support your family, then go for it. Go for it with the trust that you have in the company that you have behind you, which is Ring Bomb Party. Trust that you have a sponsor and an upline that will support you. I will be there. Sometimes I don't know what you need or what you're going through. So you need to voice that. You need to reach out. You need to say, hey, Shells. Hey, sponsor. I need help. Speak up. Let us know. I know sometimes it's hard to ask for help. But I'm going to ask you to put those guards down so that you can become successful in this business. I also want to encourage you. <clears throat> um, give, me, give me one second. I didn't get to finish <laughs> um, this, this one. So I did only number one. So... There are three elements to your network marketing business. One is, first, you have the company's products. So already I talked about, you have to trust and believe that you have the best company backing you up with the most amazing manufactured jewelry coming out of that ring bombs, okay? Number two, second, you have the company's compensation plan. Do you understand your compensation plan? If you don't, there's videos, there's me, there's your sponsor. Let us know. We can break it down for you. Um, you should all have gotten this book. <clears throat> It's, my, it's like my little ring bomb party biz, um, 
Bible that I always keep handy. Um, in here is all the different phases, phase one, two, and three, how you get paid, how to rank up. If it doesn't make sense, no worries. We break it down here in Team Blink Squad or even in the University of Success in your back office, okay? So I need you to do a little bit of research. Yes, we are in the University of Success. Remember we talked about grab your bag, put it, put your tools in there, let's get started, let's get moving. Um, and then number three, the third element is the most important, and that element is you, you and me, okay? It's all about you. You are really the only variable. Everyone has the same product and the same compensation plan, but you are going to be the difference between success and failure. It's your business. You are in the boss chair. You are in control. You need to learn what works for you. Sometimes we, you might fall. Stand up, dust yourself off, wipe the tears away, and keep moving forward. Don't look back. Keep moving forward. The only reason to look back is to learn from it. But other than that, don't do it. Don't look back. Don't don't look in the past. That's why it's in the past. We all have call, a gift called the present. Live in the present. Okay? I want to encourage you. So that means right here and right now, you need to take full responsibility of your network marketing business. Decide today never to blame anyone or anything else for your lack of results. Don't blame anybody. Don't. It is all about you and your business and what you do with it. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to hear all of this, but it's so true, you guys. You are the magic of your business. You are the difference between someone shopping from your store than someone else's store. Somebody jumping on your live stream, staying there and uh, purchasing from you and coming back again. So the title of this business was Do You Do You Trust? Do you trust me? I always ask myself that, do you trust me? And that question is going out to my customers. Do my customers trust me? Do they trust that I will do the best, best professional job in fizzing their ring bombs, sending it to them, making sure that it is packed well so it, as it journeys over to wherever they're at, it will arrive in a great condition. Do they trust me? Do they trust me as being the best ring bomb party consultant? It's all about trust. I learned this phrase once before. If you can make a friend, you can sell them anything. Make friends. Make friends over and over and over. It's all about building the relationship. When they trust you, you can sell them anything. Trust is very important, but trust does not come by chance. It does not. Just like how I did that trust fall, I had to trust in my heart and in my mind that Tony was going to catch me. And you know what? If I didn't trust that that was going to happen, I would not have fallen back. I would have stayed on my own two feet. But like I said, it is okay to trust people. It is okay to have a team, to depend on each other, because you need a team to get through this. No one does it alone. I will tell you. You look at all these professions, you can look at a professional athlete, the ones that win gold medals or Super Bowl rings or whatever sport you're into. They had a coach, they had a mentor, and they listened and they learned and they grew. Look at any professional politician, you know, because we're, we're, you know, we're in a voting year. Look at any successful politician, any successful business person, any successful business, there's a team behind them. You need to develop that trust in what you're doing and where you're headed. So that's why I wanted to um, name this, Do You Trust? Do your customers trust you? Think of that over and over. I, I'll give you the definition of trust again. Trust is a firm belief. You're not wishy-washy. You're not tossing back and forth. It is a firm belief. Like, I stand firm on this belief. In the reliability, do your customers believe that you are reliable? If you're going to go live, you're going live. If you're going to ship in so many days, you're going to ship in that many days. If you're going to give them tracking, you're giving them tracking. If you're going to follow up, you are following up. Okay? Are you reliable? Um, truth, ability, or strength of someone or something. just want to reiterate today that you can do this. You can do this business. You can be very successful. 
I am enjoying this journey. You have to love what you do and do what you love. Some of you have not written down your why yet. I encourage you and I challenge you. I have a challenge today and it, you're going to work on it for this week, but I have a challenge for you. I want you to develop. And if you need to go get this book, if you didn't already, go get it. Start with Why by Simon Sinek. It will transform your thinking. Right here, you guys, this mind right here, that's what's going to help you succeed. That is what's going to push you forward. Your mind tells you whether to go or to stop. Your mind tells you to do something or not to do something. You have to learn to train your mind to be success oriented, to be strong, to be confident. If you are not looking in the mirror yet and telling yourself, you got this, you're the best ring bomb party consultant. You're going to rock this live. You're going to have so many orders. You need help to send them out. You're going to have such a big business that you're going to have to be going to the bank often. You're going to have to be placing orders every single day to keep up with the demand. If you're not looking in the mirror and telling yourself that you need to start, start believing in you. Remember, the difference between you, me, and all the other Ring Bomb Party consultants is the one that's looking in the mirror. It's all about you. Develop your skills as an entrepreneur. I need to encourage you, jump on these videos that I am um, making this week when you're live so you can ask questions. I want to encourage you to take notes. I don't know everything, but what I do know, I would love to share with you. The experiences that I've gone through, I would love to share it with you. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here because I'm on my own. I decided, you know what? We need to grow. We need to grow as individuals. We need to grow as a team. I encourage you, reach out to your sponsor and tell your sponsor what your why is. If it has to be in like a, you know, like a paragraph, start there. If you have um, fine-tuned it to a few sentences, give your sentences. But if you know without a shadow of a doubt why you do what you do, nothing can stop you. Nothing. Because that why statement or that why paragraph or wherever you're at right now should push you. Should push you to getting up. Right? Remember we talked about 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, do it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, get up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go live. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, learn. Go to the University of Success. Listen to a few of Michelle's videos. Go YouTube. Get, go find a virtual mentor just like I did. Whatever it takes should be the attitude. So I'm just here as your leader and encouraging you. Rock your business. Be the boss babe you were born to be. If there's things that you need to learn, baby girl, go learn it. Go learn it with a passion behind you. If you don't know how to speak well, when you're going live, you're fumbling on your words or you're, you're moving your hands and you're not controlling your nervousness, practice. You will get better. And one day when you improve after improvement after improvement, you're going to look back at your videos and go, oh my gosh, look at that. That was day one. One year from now, if you keep improving, you're going to compare day one and 365 and be blown away. But it's all about developing step up to the plate and let's do this remember now don't do it alone please don't be the lone ranger that does it all alone you need your sponsor you need your upline you need the whole company behind you reach out when you need help when you're doing well celebrate share the victories share the victories with with the team share it with your upline share it with everybody you need to rejoice when it's time to celebrate don't ever, ever stop celebrating. You need to celebrate. You need to high five everybody around you. I wish with all my heart that this corona goes away so we can see each other, not only virtually, but see each other in person, um, see each other at the conference coming up next year in April. We need each other. We need to lock arms, you guys. When you ever feel like you're the Lone Ranger, I want you to remember this story that I gave you. Okay, remember that story. Remember the, just think of the pain of those years working in the mine so his brother could be a success. We're all here for you. We are here to support you, to encourage you. But you need to be on your journey. Like I, like I shared in the previous videos, get in the driver's seat, get in your vehicle, and take this ring bomb party business to the biggest success that you can possibly have. 
it's out there for you. And right now, if you are listening to this live or you're watching the replay, this opportunity is yours. It's been handed to you as a gift. Don't waste the gift by letting it sit on the side. Open up that gift and say, oh my God, look what I have. Christmas is coming, you guys. Kids are going to show you how excited you should be to have a gift. This gift can be a little gift for you that maybe gives back a little bit of money, a little bit of income, a little bit of time. But I don't know about you, but if this business can give me financial freedom, money beyond my wildest dreams, I'm going to go for it with everything I got in me. But if you don't know what, what your passion is or your why statement, you're not going to go far. Because you know what? When you have two people on your live, you're going to be discouraged. When you have one order and that one order came from a, a best friend or a mom or a sister or a loved one, you may be discouraged. You're going to look all over the place and go, oh my gosh, she's got it. She's got business. She's got customers. She's making orders. She's sending lots of orders out. But look at me. I had one tonight. Don't torture yourself. Celebrate. Celebrate your victory. Celebrate that you had that one order. Celebrate that you had two people watching your life. Celebrate every single victory to boost your, your, your own confidence because confidence is key. When you are live, people will pick up your vibe so fast. It can be seconds that they're just scrolling and, oh, let me see what this is, what, what's going on right here. They will catch your vibe. And I'm telling you, the vibe attracts your tribe. You will attract the people that like you. They will trust you. They will come back over and over. That's how you keep them. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Don't forget that. So when you are going live next time and you're wondering that five, who are those five people? Because you didn't see a notification. Just remember they're watching you. They want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. Or else they wouldn't, they wouldn't stop. They wouldn't slow their scroll as we call it. So rejoice that you have those five people and move on, improve till you get six, till you get seven, till you get eight, till you reach the number that you're confident that my business is successful. But don't stop until you get there. I go, I personally go up and down, up and down. That's just how this business is, you guys. Customers will come and stay because they like you and they trust you. Remember, we're making friends, find friends, make friends. Be you. I'm telling you, this business, if you are fake on camera, when they meet you in person, they'll be like, whoa, what happened? Be true to yourself. Show up as you. Show up. They want you. They look forward to seeing you. If you go live once a week, when you go live, be the best version of you. Rock that live. Sell out if you can. But if you go twice, three times, four times, the more often you go live, guess what's happening? They're getting to know you because they're talking story with you. They're listening to you. They're taking notes. Oh, my gosh, this is her favorite color. Oh, this is what she likes to do. Oh, she has this many children. They're listening. Oh, my gosh, they want to be with you. You're building trust. Trust keeps people. Be careful. You do not want to lose their trust because trust is hard to build again especially if that person is all about trusting people. Trust is something that you can earn from someone, but I'm telling you when you lose that, it is a tough one to get back. And for me, customer service is key. Customer service is so important to me. My level of customer service is really high. My bar is set so high for myself that if I am not putting confetti in my package, if I'm not using a pretty printed plastic package to put into their box, if I don't have my sticker on my box, guess what? I dropped my level of excellence and I'm all about excellence. That's just me. That's personally. That's all about me. So that when my customer receives their package, they feel the love that went into packaging and shipping the item. It's not just a ring bomb, you guys. This business is all about making friendships, making connections, and growing that, and multiplying that, and duplicating that. Because your followers will one day say, hey, you know what? I got to do business with that woman. 
I got to do business with that guy. I got to do business right now with that person because it is hot and I need to get in on this. I don't want to miss the opportunity. I don't want to miss the wave. So I just want to encourage you guys when you go live, just remember someone is watching. Someone is always watching. That is the beauty of social media. Whether you have one or two people on your live, guess what? Your replay might have hundreds and a thousand and even more than that. So always be on your game. Show up. Show up over and over and do better and do better and do better. Shoot for excellence. Find out where your bar of excellence is and exceed that. Don't compare, you guys. Comparison is the killer of all of this. It'll kill everything. Do not compare. Do not compare you to me. Do not compare you to your sponsor. Do not compare you with my sponsor. Oh my gosh, we, that's goals right there. Hashtag goals. One day to be where my sponsor is at. That's all hashtag goals. It's not a jealousy thing. It is a, you know what? I can strive to be that one day. And that's goals. That's called a goal. It's not jealousy. Okay? I want you to, I want to encourage you. Learn to build that trust with your customer. Today was all about customer, even though customer service, even though I went off track. But today I wanted to touch on the customer service. When you show up, be the best version of you. Let them see who you are a little bit. I mean, you might be a private person. That's all right. But you need to allow yourself a little bit of room for them to get to know you. Maybe let them know a little bit about your schedule if, if that's easy and that's okay. But let them get to know you. Build friendships. When you can build friendships, you can build trust. And when you build friendships, you can sell them anything. Make a friend and you can sell them anything. I want you to remember that. I want you to write that down. Make a friend. Make a friend today. And you can sell them anything. I'm going to break down this training a little bit more because I know this is like just really big and really, um, you know, really big message. But I'm going to break it down. I have a system that I want you to work on and how you are going to um, reach out to your customers, how you're going to build that relationship because it is possible with social media. It is so amazing how we can instantly message someone and they can receive the message. And we need to use the power of social media to build our business. So I do have a strategy where we um, reach out to our friends and our family.